Hello nerds, I am going to unbox Massive Darkness, which was a massive Kickstarter just recently from Simon, formerly known as Cool Mini or Not, now Simon. What Massive Darkness is, is a giant miniatures game. Um, this is just the core box, and it is, you can see just how big that is, just the box. So what happens is you go on a series of quests, you set up scenarios, um, and it's kind of like a dungeon crawl. There's no, there's no dungeon master. So it's cooperative, dungeon crawling for one to six players, ages 14 and up. And I am super stoked about this. All right, what I did is I cut the plastic, because one thing that is not interesting is watching another nerd cut off plastic wrap. So I just scored the plastic, but I haven't opened anything, because I am going to let you see it the first time I see it myself. This, again, is the core box for Massive Darkness. I will set that there so you can see the artwork. And right off the top, look at that, rules and quests. I mean, this is a big, thick book, over 50 pages, with really fun artwork. Oh, this is great. I really enjoy this already. So what you have here are the rules. Um, I won't dig into those. But the gameplay I just wanted to give you a quick look see and then you get through the rules and there are quests as well all right set that to the side because there is obviously some cardboard to be punched I won't punch that right now but I wanted to give you a peek but this if you get a game from cool Mania or not this is why you get it this is the box of miniatures so we're gonna set that aside so I'll show you the other things first. Again, each quest you have different tiles. They're double-sided, so when you set them up, you might set a tile, another tile. The scenario tells you which tile to set in which order, and that allows it to be really customizable. Every scenario feels different and fun. Takes you on some quests. Here's some, some cards with the equipment, the treasure. Again, here's a wand of, look at that. So this is really great, actually. You get to see that. Looks like these are kind of like your dashboards, maybe, or or um, these feel a little thin, so I'm not exactly sure what these are. Maybe this, you uh, looks like maybe you, you level up, I think. So that looks pretty exciting. I'll go ahead and rip into this, because this looks interesting. Oh yeah, so these are thin sheets and you simply level up. You got your night run, your paladin. Oh, this is great. I'm really excited about this. Dice. The game is not a game without dice. I love dice. And then here are some larger cards. So this is the core game that you can buy in your hobby shops, your friendly local game shops, but there is also all kinds of extras, but here is what you get a game from Coleman you're not for. Here are the minis. First of all, you have your typical bad guys, but look at the, look at the detail, the quality in that. These are pretty solid solid figures just holding them in my hand I'm excited about that several different sculpts some really these these obviously they can't be because of IP issues but these look like red caps from like a Pathfinder or d and I'm sure they cool many gave them their own little take here's where you put your board you know you slide your cards in your, your level up, like your equipment, your weapons, and your your pegs to keep going. So that's a lot of fun. But obviously it's not just bad guys. It is heroes. So here is what we have on that front. Now obviously this is the kind of game, and when I backed it on Kickstarter, I knew this was what I was going to do. My wife is my primary gaming partner, and she will not want to play this game much. So 
I thought to myself, listen, I want to get my money's worth. And obviously money's worth is painting these miniatures. Gosh, that's just good nerd meditation to be able to paint these, paint these guys. And then these are great figures for my D&D &D or Pathfinder campaigns. So this is the kind of game where if you buy it, you get a lot of use from it. If you if you're looking for for minis, and there are tons of them, two whole trays of minis just in the base set. Plus, look at these big bats! My gosh, these are the big bosses at the end. All right, I'm going to speed this up because if you'll see, there are tons of these things. And I don't want you to just look at the base box. I want you to be able to see all the extras that came with the Kickstarter. So this looks like just a little extra pack that came. The quest of Crystal and Lava, Massive Darkness. I haven't been able to see this either. This is the first time I'm looking. What you have are extra little sets. Oh, nice. For your dice, some more sheets for heroes. But again, this is what you get excited about. Oh my gosh. These are more heroes. Here is just one example of another hero. Again, you can use this hero, level her up during the, level her up during the game, or use her as a wizard or a warlock or something for your D&D game. These are just great. And look at all these, all these bad guys. The Etten, and again, cool mini or not, they simply do not mess around when it comes to minis. I mean, just look at that. I really want to turn this video off and just start painting. But I actually got to make money. And I can't sit around and paint all day, even though I wish I could. Because, man, they have some great minis. And just that one expansion box. Two boxes of minis. And here's the other one. Oh, my gosh. you got to see this nasty troll. Let me put this troll up close so that everyone can see. I mean, just look at that. Look at the detail. How much fun this game will be. Just the detail and attention of the minis. All right, so here are some other expansions. We're gonna go on speed mode for this. This is a Reptasaurians. Again, this is an enemy box for Massive Darkness. And this is just one little expansion you can get for this game, a dungeon crawl that has no dungeon master. You follow the cues, you rolled your dice, and it sets you through a scenario. Very exciting. Those in the back look pretty similar, so we'll skip that. In order to speed this along, troglodytes. 22 miniatures, 13 cards. This is another enemy box. So some bad guys. Look at this man right there. I do not want to run into that guy without backup. All right, I got one more enemy box. This is the Ratlings. I like this box because I like little rat creatures. And if you're in the Starfinder, maybe you could turn these into some Isoki figures. So that is a really neat expansion as well. Got some cards, a replacement card pack. I don't know what that's about. I'm sure, something to do with the. The Kickstarter. This is another box that I got. Again, this is all from one Kickstarter. Amazing what you get with just one game. And I'm excited to dig in. Oh, well, that's fun. That's something you can use in your D&D &D dungeon crawls, even if you don't get massive darkness to the table often. And the final two that I want to show you, these are three heroes, one roaming monster. These are extra add-ons that you can get at your friendly local game shop, I'm assuming. This is the Sorcerers and Lord Tusk. Again, each hero comes with a kind of a level up character sheet. 
which is a lot of fun. You get the cards to play these heroes. And then you get the, the big bad. Oh, look at look at Lord Tusk. He is a great, great figure. Look at that. Massive. And then three heroes. Let's look at those individually, because heroes are fun. That is some kind of Oh, a wizard. A rogue. Again, even if you don't play these in Massive Darkness, you can bring them to your table for your Pathfinder game. Look at that. That's great. Last one. The Noble Warriors. A little three-member set. Just rip into this. With no faults for my safety. Big bad, and then three heroes. Cool men you're not, they just make fantastic miniatures. So when you think of cool men you're not, you think of cool miniatures. All right, again, here's a look at the, the box for the base set. All of this stuff came in the Kickstarter. I can't believe it. I'm going to dig into it a little more, but I wanted to give you nerds just a quick, fast look at Massive Darkness. Kickstarter from Cool Man or Not. Later, nerds.